Okay, this time it didn't decide to mess up on me. And just forever tell me I'm st starting. I wonder if my mic's actually picking up that. Picking up what? Rocket Man. My brother's it's blasting on the TV right now. <laughs> I can hear it from here. Ah. Oh. It's not, actually. Yeah, but my stream like the... might be picking it up. Different um, oh, noise suppressions. Mm. But... Let's start the new ambient music. Uh, thank you to Krypton for uh, sending me these. Shout out to Krypton. Hell yeah. Make some really baller music. Alright. So, where we last left our heroes, you guys uh, destroyed and then uh, took apart the... Uh, Remnants of these strange blood creatures. What's that? So, map is yours. You can continue your journey. Actually, move you guys. I think I'm going more. soft. And you guys reach a fork in the road in these strange lands. Make me a survival check. Anyone in particular, or everyone? Everyone. I'm we'll see if you guys collectively get lost. Can you uh can you roll for Alteria for us, please? I I can do that. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. I see where all my luck went. Know. One of these days, huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just, just went through a hell game of Yu-Gi-Oh! earlier. It's <laughs> awesome. So I see where all my luck uh, went. I have an idea if we don't quite get to it. I'll tell you, you got a 17, by the way, Nikki. Okay. And you got a... So you <laughs> I got a 9. I am not a wise person. I'm 17. Two 17s, a 10, a 5, and a 9. Ah. <laughs> uh. Azarian and Alteria go. I uh, start heading to the north as the rest of you are like, man, I swear we have to go this way. <laughs> hmm. But they both turn to you. My idea was and they're to... like, "You guys are getting lost <laughs> this way." And whatever uh, Azarian would be. Are you sure? I can't tell my yeah. way around these things at all. It all, looks, it all looks exactly the same to me. I was gonna fly no. up to see. No what built-in compasses. Sure, I was let's take a look at my. To... Go ahead. Sorry. Sorry. I was going to fly up to see where we are going. Are you going to fly up? It was, but then both Alteria and Azarian found the right way to go. <laughs> Alright. In the next area, oh, quick as question. you guys head towards this path. You guys are actually going on the right path. Nikki, that's a spoiler. You can't tell us that. No, no. You guys are going in the direction you guys assume. 
Yes, let me take a look at my internal compass. Opens chest to reveal nothing but a soul <laughs> orb. <laughs> <laughs> Strange, I seem to have misplaced it. Uh, as you get to this area, you start seeing, uh, as you're going down the road, carts smashed in, torn apart. The reins seem to be missing. Some even still have the horse, uh, Corpses of horses still attach. These carriages and carts and wagons strewn about as you continue forward. It gets even worse as the road opens up to an area. More roads ahead, let's go. The road is never ending. We're just going in a circle for some reason. Oh, you guys can't see the whole map for a second. Oh, also, yeah. my token doesn't have vision anyway. <laughs> Don't you have dark vision? Yeah, for some reason it wasn't proccing. What? What's your dark vision, 60? I have like, devil sight, like 120. Oh, right, that's brand new. I added it to my sheet before. Yeah, but when you added to your my... sheet, you have to add it to your token. I meant to say my token before. <laughs> you know how to edit tokens, I learned that. Uh, I think it's question, Mickey. Yep. See more carts thrown about. Like What? What? What's your question, friend? Oh. Oh shit, they died. Oh, Welcome, back. Welcome back to the land of the living. Hello? Hi. Hi. Uh, sorry, I thought I got messed up in connection and all. Uh, oh. I was asking, I was about to ask a question. Mm-hmm. Uh, by the time we got from there to here, did I attune to the Hat of Disguises at all? That's something you, like, spend a short rest doing. But we did. Yeah, then in which case, you could have just chosen to do it while we short rested. It takes an hour. A short rest is an hour. You just have to be, like, spending your time attuning to it. Rather than walking with it, you know? Make me... Perception checks. Difficulty. Right. Or Never mind. investigation. Oh yeah, you're not playing Warhammer. Nice. <laughs> <Just>, all right. <laughs> <laughs> that made me laugh. Uh, you haven't so, done that in a while. Should I go for the uh, minus two <laughs> perception or plus zero Yikes. investigation? Fuck I yeah! Have, I have advantage on perception, don't I? Because of the, uh, Torkin? Oh. Well, cool. IAP hasn't rolled yet. Oh, yes, he did. No, oh, the, the rat man. Yeah, I was just asking. I'm pretty sure I have advantage, right? Because Out of the, uh... senses, correct. Okay, just double check. Yo, they just straight up advantage on it. It's wild. It's also helped that there's like a plus fucking 10. <laughs> I think you picked a pretty good character. Uh, um. Alright, so with 27 and a 21 and an at 1. Oh, that's one. The duality of dice. Very funny. Alright, so. Durga and Calliope, as you look around, you see so many carts destroyed and messed up and torn apart. Um, 
And you also see a massive skull that has its um, right hand side's cranial just shattered inward. And it looks like it's sort of almost the darkness engulfs the inside. It's droning and a little bit off. Tied with your investigation check. Um, you see a lot of the tracks on the road. This seems to be a, some sort of highway meant to have mm, four or more carts going on it at a time on all sides. About to fit that many. Probably was used a lot long before the Calamity. Uh, but all these carts here, some of them are quite old, but some of them are very new. It seems that people started doing trading, but then something stopped them. Whatever it was, it's always here. This is where the most of them are. Ep is yours. What do you do? I perish. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> NPC just death walked enemy. on the map. Just walked on the map and just, you know, just Yeah, just, I'm just gonna yeah. check out the carts one by one and see if they have anything in them. Oh, yeah, for sure. You guys wanna start searching these carts? By all means. Not a bad idea. I wouldn't be against it. Okay. Uh make me investigation checks. If you're gonna take your time, roll with an advantage. I mean, if any of us take our time, then we should all take our time. Yeah. Right. Okay. So I vote we take our time. I'll go with Tide. I'm searching over here. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right. Buttons. Brain. Investigation. Right? Yep. All right. Tide and Durga, as you guys search the carts around you. These carts seem, some of them seem to be of very high quality, some of them to be lower quality. Uh, inside of them, uh, you could see regalia and things you don't, haven't ever seen before. This land is new to you. But you also find, uh, hi, Durga. You guys search through some of these nicer wagons and, uh, uh, underneath some of the seats that have been smashed up, there are hidden compartments. Uh, but also you notice that some of the boxes and items that would be in these carts are untouched for the most part. You also don't see any corpses anywhere. You see crates of lost cargo untouched, some of it even moldy and gone bad. Whatever was here, or is here, has stopped a lot of things. Even if there's pillagers, it seems there's no evidence of them. Not a drop of blood. Not a bone. It seems that if they were trying to rob the place, they did a pretty poor job. <laughs> but uh with your guys's investigation checks along with just that little exposition for you oh they just went spread apart whoa all right we'll start with Give me the loot, girl, and free my soul. I want to get lost right. at the bottom of a hole. Uh, in the carriage you search through, you find gems and jewelry. Uh, basically, I'm going to say about like 30 pounds worth. 
That's a lot, Nikki. Of just random jewelry and gems of whatever value. Just... That's a lot, Nikki. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of jewelry. carts, and they have had nobody scavenge them. Well, you think there's been attempts, as uh, there are displaced loot, I guess you would call it. And they are in places that make no sense, as it's way far away from the carts that they're connected to. Perhaps things were attacked as they were stealing, or things were not able to even attempt. Um, Calliope, where are you? You are right here. Okay, you didn't move. Alright, so with the carts, you guys go through 18. Uh, you find a hidden compartment of what? A couple of them. Seems some of these were uh, avid readers. You found hidden uh, journals, a singular spell book that is written in a language you are confused about. And so you have a and a couple other books written in uh language common draconic. Alright. Basically four books you can't read. I can read books. <laughs> can read. Well, more along the lines of I can read books. Four books. That's if you want to go ahead. Let me cut you off. Uh, four books using the deep that are all written in deep speech. Um. Azarian. As you're looking through this type of cart, uh, in this type of cart, there's a lot of materials and things that you suspect a merchant to have. There's furs, there's metal, there's even loose weapons that seem to have rusted over time. Uh, some of this stuff is still pretty good. Some of it has, well, aged over time and have worn and tear. But, judging through the different carts, you can find a few that are untouched. I mean, the rusted weapons probably aren't too much use, but the other materials could be traded or sold. Mm -hmm. Like, there's loose uh, uh, stock metal there was that's in a crate that... Most of it seems undamaged. A lot of the loose weapons were all just tied up to each other and fell into the dirt. All that stuff. Mm -hmm. Weathered by the rain. But there's uh, some that have spices in boxes and in sacks. Some have rotting food. Some have mm, a couple days old food. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't take any of the rotting food, but uh, anything that seems like uh, to have like decent utility purposes, like either spices for trade or still decently aged food, like hasn't gone bad yet, I might have stuff in the bag to hold it for now. Yeah. Either to either use or sell. All right, Durga. As uh, so, you can add like stocks of like uh, um, intact metals. You're not sure what type of metals they are. As your, uh, I'm not sure if you have smithing. Do you? Uh, uh, one moment. Well, the well, I'm asking uh, Zarian. Sorry. Mm. Um, no, no. All right. So, if any of you have smithing, you could tell him what type of metals he has. He is unsure at the moment. 
but they're nice looking and they do not look like iron or steel. They're I'll shiny tell you that right now. <laughs> they're shiny. That's all we need. <laughs> Durga, as you look through this fancy cart, uh, carriage, uh, you look through it being, um, a thief of sorts. Uh, you understand hidden compartments and things that these types of individuals would hold in their little carriages and stuff. You find, uh, you find money and jewelry and all that kind of stuff in these things. Uh, you hold a... Yeah. So you also find roughly about, like, 30 pounds of, like, jewels and other things like that. Deesh. Yeah, uh, these, this area is loaded. Uh, but, while you guys are searching around, make me perception checks. <laughs> Uh, can you please make a perception check for me? I sure can do that for you, friend. Thank you. Advantage since I... Advantage since I was actively... Huh? Were you asking if it's disadvantaged because you're actively looking for things? Exactly. Just normal. You're lagging unless you, unless you actually have advantage because of something. Oh, oh nice shit. Don't, doesn't need advantage. Doesn't need advantage anyways. Get... The All right. Is Durga and Calliope, you two are the first to notice uh, two strange winged creatures start. Uh, mm. uh, a bunch of them. Mm. start flooding out of the cave. You say you think you count like 10, 15, 12 roughly of these strange imp-like creatures that are dripping, flying around, looking around, and you hear them go... <laughs> <laughs> Are they speaking a language of any si sort? No, but they seem to be uh, looking around around these carts and carriages. They have not spotted you just yet, but you guys have a moment to hide yourselves or stand your ground. I will stand my ground. Give me a moment. I need to try to hide. hide. <laughs> Half of them are like, "Fuck it, we're fighting them." I want to go hide. Durga, Durga's hiding. <laughs> Just grab all the hide. I mean, taking cover is probably okay. the best move. Gotta go and hide. I'm not hiding. Tide not will just hard. stand here and wait. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Seems like a Tide thing to do. In fact, he's gonna try and get their attention. Oh god. Durga's trying to avoid Danny attention. <laughs> Alright. Whoa! Shit. Oh, you're trying to get their attention? Alright. Yeah, we're I'm gonna get, get them attention. to about here. Oh shit, here we go again. Let's go! I'm actually gonna take one of them and put them over here as I'm gonna start fucking combat because they're gonna start. Yeah, you guys are initiating combat with these things. I'll check. Yeah. Wait, Nikki, can I make a stealth check? Or. Oh, oh yeah, crap. for sure. You and Calliope can make stealth checks, and you and Ender. Oh, can... what is this fucking song? But yeah, that, are... that blew my eardrums out. <laughs> I'm sorry. That no, that's all good. I just was not expecting it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I expected. Huh. Yo, Do the I... same exact roll I get every single time. Let's go. Dude. I, I need a pet, Ella. Uh oh, um. 
I need to turn this song down. I can't hear anyone. Give me a minute. Hopefully that helped. <laughs> I should also. I turned it down myself. It's fine. I'm going to immediately. Jeez. You're lagging really bad, Bordion. All we heard was you're going to immediately something and then you cut out. Alright, I got a 13 on my stars check. What, what happens? Alright, you think you're hidden. 23 on stuff. Yeah, let me just roll. Yeah, my self check wasn't very high either, so. <laughs> Bell, but who needs that? I'm Yo, two initiative? Four. God damn. That's the second. Actually, no. That's the fourth worst initiative I've ever seen. What? Before you ask, the lowest I've seen was someone have a negative three. Do you, what? They negative, had a negative uh, four mods of their three? They had a negative four mods of their decks and rolled a one. Oof. I feel like Oof. a negative one, uh, but I've never seen a negative three, holy cow. Is Voidion okay? Uh, give him a moment. He was he's lagging most kind likely. of badly. Most likely he's gonna fix his router or something. I gotta roll their initiative. Jeez. Well, they rolled really high. My luck, I guess. Nothing there. <laughs> I'm all the way over here, too. Oh. Hello? Alright. Hello. Durga. Hello. Oh, yeah, you're uh, all again. here. Hi. Hey, bud. You rolled an 18 on your initiative. Alright. God damn it. What were you saying that you were trying to do out of curiosity? I was trying to use magical guidance to boost my, like, stealth, but I didn't matter. That's your world worse. I use my dash question then. Right. Get an extra 30 in there. What's worse, I don't have any spells. Action dash? Yeah. Why not? That's what I was afraid of. Okay. That is my turn. Can't do anything else. Where are these things? Where are they? I can't see them. <laughs> Wonder where they are. Oh, there they are. Jeez. Oh boy. Let's see. Okay, apparently I'm not gonna be hiding at all, so... I guess I'm fighting then. Got a hundred foot range. Really the most glorious way to die. You would say that, you fucking battle nut. Alright, uh, it's... It's 75 E. Oh my god. Why is it spicy? Well, seeing as how she doesn't have any spells at the moment, she's gonna do something else. I'll tell you, you good? Good, I'm good, don't worry. <laughs> I'm some of you sound right. so tired. Ah, uh, no, I'm just keeping my voice down, I'm not even tired. Fair enough. Again, it's okay. like midnight for me. I have to scroll in and out just to do shit. Alright, alright. One, two, three, four, five, six. I want to try and. 
I want to try and hide again. We take your action to hide. Oh. Right, do I roll a stealth check or something? Yeah, so I'm just telling you, take your action to hide. Because you're not a rogue. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do that because I don't have anything except for melee. And I am nowhere near close enough to hot shot them. Do you keep forgetting you have a ballista? Oh no, I do. It's just I'm too far away. If I try to shoot it, it'll be at disadvantage. It has I a mean, hundred foot well. range. The closest one's ninety five feet away. They are. Well, if we're fighting, then then I guess I'll just shoot them with the ballista. You have two options, actually. What? What might that be? For which imp you want to shoot at? Uh, the closest one that I can hit. <laughs> which could be any one of those two. Yeah, they're the same distance. <laughs> yeah, technically, oh my god. Yeah, and I'll just hit the one on the right then. Hear me? The one on the right, you said? Yeah, this yeah. one over here. Yeah, there you go. I'll the one on the right. Yikes. Yeah, that's what I expected. I should have hid. See, this is why I was talking about a long rest instead of a short rest. I don't want to sit on the other side of the road and sleep. We could have hid and made camp or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get back to, to being in nature and stuff. I'm not a nature robot. <laughs> Do I? All right. I just want to nice. apologize beforehand, Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> no, by all means, bud. That's uh, all but five of them? Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll roll damage first. Cause... Oh, that's a pretty good roll. That is. It's a damn yeah, that's pretty roll solid. Right there. <laughs> oh my screen! <laughs> so uh, none of them. One that failed. So one none of them succeeded. One succeeded. Wait, what one are you did. talking about? One did. There's a nineteen. Where? Oh, on there. there is a nineteen in there. God damn it! I thought it was a sixteen. Sorry. One of them succeeded. And, and the considering these are blood enemies, are they still weak to cold damage? I mean, they have blood in their name. I mean, they could also just make imps that suck out blood, though, instead of being made out of blood. <laughs> I'm trying to destroy my hopes, chief. <laughs> Nikki, why do you laugh like that? I feel like something didn't go according to plan for us. Well, I sir, if I see all of these, way, like, just... These ones uh. all die. Oh my god. Yeah. They all die. But this one, however, <clears throat> sixteen and a half. 
Ah, they appear to not be weak to a uh, <laughs> cold damage. It doesn't matter, you still killed most of them. <laughs> er Eradication. One of cold's a good spell, alright. Uh. I mean, at least it was a cold spell and not like some form of fire spell, because I'm pretty sure you would have lit this whole fucking forest on fire at that point. And then tentacle deep right here. All right. Yeah. Sixteen hit. Is a sixteen hit? I don't know. Yes. It was teetering on that fucking oof. Two damage, I'm assuming, considering what we just learned. Hey, why don't you insight them? You get it? We're eradicating them at all? Uh, sure, I'll insight them as well, Nikki. They'll try and learn about them. Thirteen. Insufficient. <laughs> Bad days. I mean, there Girl, is I'll a party that literally didn't learn about a whole enemy for like six floors because they kept killing it before it would ever have a turn. So they just never learned that. any of its abilities until like way too many floors above. <laughs> All right, Alteria. Uh, a ten is insufficient. But what does the uh, tiefling do? Just try uh, thirty. Mm. All right, I'll learn how to use the shortcut later. Yeah. Thank you, Nikki. There's only one thing I can do, and that's take the shot. Alright. Who are you shooting? Uh, The one closest to me. Yeah, yeah, I expected, I expected that. There's a 12 hit. There it is, guys. Does a 12 hit? Yes. Uh, unfortunately, no. Eh. Uh, expected as much. I mean, Tide's gonna kill uh, everything, so... You fire at the imp, and it dodges your, uh, strange arrows, and it goes... <laughs> They're laughing at you. <laughs> so I'm used to it. I'm just gonna put Dominic in my turn. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Imp's turn. Oh, baby. It was nice knowing you. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, shit. Click, not spacebar click. May I help you, Nikki? I don't like all these lines you're drawing towards me. <laughs> oh shit! You I was, fool! I I was off. All right. I was moving. You fool! Now. You just lined yourself up for another of his attacks. 
<laughs> yeah, only one of them is going to be a disadvantage. Oh, they have range attacks. Good for them. Yep. Uh, what is this? Five attacks, one at disadvantage, or five normal attacks, one at disadvantage. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, disadvantage. Two hit. I've been hit by two with them, Nikita. Alright. Con save. And half damage. <clears throat> Why half damage? Because you're resistant to poison damage. Okay, I was wondering if it was half damage for any other reason. Because I'm like, what? Uh. <laughs> I, I remember your guys' resistances. So. Really? So, one, two. Two hit. And then give me one moment, please. Two hit. One more attack. And you said uh, two con saves? Yeah, two con saves. Uh, DC 10. Right, you aren't poisoned. Let's or go! given the poison's condition. Uh, basically, yeah, strange blood spews onto your joints and other parts of your body and attempts to seize you up and slow you down. I assume that you'd be a lot more effective in combat than this. Nazarian. Hey. Uh, just want to clarify, this one down to the south isn't an actual imp, right? You just had the not real. Burrito? It's not fake. real. This one's That's just uh. This... You're imagining it out there. <laughs> well, these ones save combat me tracker. a lot of trouble by coming closer. Just a combat tracker. That's what I figured when I didn't do anything, but I wanted to make sure. Alright, um... Yeah, if you ever see an enemy outside of uh, the combat area, it's usually that. Let's get a little closer here, then. The only time I would say that doesn't count is uh, when the Fyara fight uh, happens. Why are you drawing? He's <laughs> <laughs> infinitely circling himself. 190 feet. Uh, I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna start javelin. Um, starting on this side and working my way in, depending on if they die. Alright. Do an AoE spell. I'm also hard to hit, please. Yeet. Not usable. Yo. Good roll. Very good. <laughs> Not so much good damage, though. I need that sound effect. Of the javelin? There's a 15 hit, Nikki. There's a 15. 15 just hits. Let's go. Cool. Bottom yeah. one, I hit with a 5 and an 8. On that one, can I smite on like a javelin? I don't think so. No, right? it has to be a melee right. weapon attack. Yeah, that's, that's what I figured. Alright. Uh, you can smite with throwing darts for some reason, though. No. Little <laughs> silly. Wait, really? That's so weird. Alright, uh, I think that's gonna be it for now, then. Alright. Durga. Man, just... 
Move action. Bonus action. <laughs> and action. Let's go. All the stashing. And that will be Durga's turn. All right. You know, as they say. This is what happens when you sit on the other side of the map. <laughs> One in the ice trying field. to look at other things. Hey, you could have just stayed back there and just continued looting. I think Tide could have handled this combat on his own, to be honest. Probably could have. I got put in a uniquely good situation. Yeah, they were bunched together. Uh, seeing as how Tide's got this, she... Clive is gonna try and... Detect if any more is coming. If not, then she's gonna go back to see if she can find some more books or something from the cart earlier. But first, she's gonna detect if there is more coming first. Alright, make me a perception check. You got this. I believe in you. I don't. Not bad! You believe these are just the first scouts. You see more shadows moving within that skull. Oh, they came from the skull. Tide, I hope you got more of that magic in you. I am about half drained. <laughs> or long. We either need. You don't have to finish them up, and we need to leave. More seems to be coming. Then you may want to get uh, closer. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Can you still hear me in this range? I don't. Hmm. No, I meant get closer to help us run. Cause oh, like, to help us run. Yeah, because if, like, I need to start making checks and you need to do a thing, then I would kind of like to be in range of whatever thing you're doing. If it's anything magical, then I can't help you. I don't have any slots. But she's going to try and muck up and tell the others, more seems to be coming. We need to get the fuck out of here after Tide cleans up in the first wave. Well, question. Uh, how's what we just run now? <laughs> just start running. What? Unless you have a way to clock up the impulse, then I don't see a point in staying here for too long. That's what I'm saying. Why don't we start running now? I'm not opposed to it. I'm just, I'm just considering if anyone still wants to try and loot these cards. Nope, don't care that much. <laughs> All right then, preparing to run. My life is not worth whatever loot is in these cards. <laughs> At least we got something. And turn. Goodbye, Jojo. We know that hits. Yep. Ooh. 11 force damage. We also know that hits. 
Uh, 15 force damage. Bam, bam. Bonus action to move that there. It's going to attack that. A lot of sixes today, let's go. Actually, I think I just rolled triple six, by the way, on my attack rolls. <laughs> you did. That's great. Uh, five cold damage to the top one. I just have the two. Mm hmm. And, uh, good luck, everybody else. I run now. <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> Never stand. Oh, you from a and go past you in this turn. Well, I am gonna try using this because I haven't used it in a while. Uh, passes them, yeah, high maybe. fives them, tagging you in. Right, and then. Please hit, please hit, please hit, please hit, please hit. Please hit. That's a hit! That's a hit! Ah, oh, finally. Which one are you hitting? Uh. Let me draw a ruler. Do do do. Trust me, they're all in range. This guy? Yep. Oh, he's dead. The male. I start laughing. Oh, you cast it at third level too. Huh. Be goof. I am my turn. Alright. What are you rolling a d100 for? Oh. Never mind. Ignore me. Yeah. No what kind of paladin is Azarian? Uh, they That's are a reason. Don't vengeance. Okay. What are the chances? Really? What happened? <laughs> Alright. Nothing comes out of the cave. Let's go! I do not like him. Get him away from me, please. Uh, pew. I'm gonna... Fuck, I missed. Alright, Azarian, I'm gonna... And... Do any of these awesome. hit? <laughs> no. <laughs> Do any of these remotely touch? No. no. Alright. Uh... They frown. That was not very poggers. <laughs> You're more than 10 points too short there. <laughs> I wanna go like... I think that 11 hits Calliope. Yeah. Hey, she's not that low. <laughs> no, I'm a 14. Why are you trying to kill me, boy? <laughs> good roll, God good roll. Damn it. <laughs> no, it's not. 
three. Look, like... I'm just trying to stay positive, all right? <laughs> positive yeah, and least... killing me? Well, I'm positive whatever's gonna come out of that cave is gonna kill us. Alright, that's against uh, this one on my left here. Honey bonk. Uh, you slice it in two. Well, it's a hammer, so that's impressive that it's sliced. <laughs> oh, do you know, it's a hammer sword thing. Oh, okay. It's so a mix. Kirk hammer. Yeah, the Kirk hammer. You can make it into a hammer. Bloodborne, baby. Yeah, basically. Oh, you know what? I don't know why I didn't realize that was being referenced. <laughs> um... Alright, well... He's still... Oh, I don't know if I want to waste a spell on these people. Yeah, I'll just call it there. <laughs> you stare at them menacingly. Yeah. You have, mo you have really enough. Got... You have. <laughs> you just need a bonus action. I mean, I could get there, or I, could... yeah. I mean, I have a feeling psychic damage is useless. I have a feeling that you're wrong. I mean, I could certainly try vicious mockery and just insult it on my way out. If it's a cantrip, might as well do oh, it. No. Which is exactly what I'm gonna do. Don't Are these the creatures rate. wise? Apparently! That's lucky. Shame. Shame. <laughs> I will then proceed to just... <laughs> ah, wrong button again. Run this You can also way. queue up movements by pressing control and stuff. That's how I'm drawing them. Eh. And then bonus action. Unless that's a bonus action. That's an action. Nope. Uh, and that will be my turn. Calliope. Alright, seeing as how everyone's leaving, she's gonna try. Oh, wait. Where is everybody? I'm just kidding. Uh, do do. Do do. If only I had enough spells and the invisibility thing. Uh,. You have cantrips and stuff. Oh. Most of my cantrips can't help shit. Why do I still have friends? Oh, did you change out friends? I don't know if mine's sliver changed it or not. Mine's sliver is damaging. Uh, Could be, I think, two D six. Uh, where are they coming? Uh, where are they coming from? Oh, assuming my... the skull. So we got a clog in the skull, or are we leaving? Why am I so far away? Don't worry, I was. Really ask because it's an option. I'm just. I'm just gonna go away from the skull. Run away! Run away! Yeah, 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 dash. What is in there? And it is an Eddie reference. Anyways. Pretty much all I can do. I don't have extra movement. Tide. Yo, this a turn. imp is cackling at you as it spits blood in your direction. That's neat. It's gonna die. Hit that motherfucker. <laughs> Calculating your death. <laughs> Not in person, old kid. So 15 total damage. I think that hits. 
It's too high. No, I rolled bad. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I think that hits not. It's too high. <laughs> Imagine if that was a rule. That would be one of the worst rules to implement on this fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would have left. Besides crits. Oh, it would be an it would be something. Tentacles twenty four that hits. Oh I did fifty eight now. I've been rolling damage wrong this whole time. Wait. Have I? Am I level 9 or am I level 10? You're level 9. Never mind, I'm just dumb. I'm just dumb. Ignore me. You're almost level 10. I don't want to talk about it. Three damage to the imp. It's badly injured. Sad days. Ulteria. Kill the imp, kill the stragglers to tell where we are, or what we are. Hmm. I see his imp. Yeah, I think that hits. Uh. Oh, yeah. Uh, don't roll your crit damage, one. Roll me a d20 for me, please. Not yet. Right. Set you crit table. <laughs> this counts as table. piercing. Technically. I'm not really uh, sure. Just a d20, just a flat d20. That's all I need. Edit the recipe. Tall. Alright, roll crit again. And roll. Uh, I'm just gonna roll two twins. Roll oh, what? Disadvantage. 19 at disadvantage? Ha! Ooh. Teen or B, there's a natural 20 on that other side. Oh. <laughs> Either way, this character is not living. So what? Thirty-one and the forty-one. That's like what? Seventy-two damage. That would have overkill them. But also, if this creature did live, it would be deafened and stunned. Okay. Cool. Are you rolling a D one hundred? Again, I have wild match. Yes, but used a bow. It doesn't count as magic. Oh. <laughs> Silly. Hey, hey, I placed one card down and in my turn. The imps seem to all fall. But there's oh, still no. things that stir within that, that cave. It's in a fusion. Well, I'm not exactly. Uh, right. Yes. Please don't go in the cave. I did not plan to. At least not yet. I did not plan to. What kind of individual do you take me for? We do not. If we are going, um, the chance that we can do decide to go to the cave, can we at least do it when we're a lot, bit more refreshed? What kind of individual do you take me for? Do you think I'm going to force you into the cage or something? No, I assume at least one of us might be interested in going into it. If you guys want to rest nearby, but without worry, we can do that. Although, it... actually, it'd probably be pretty late in the day after we search carts and stuff, huh? Yep. Uh, I also, you guys are reaching near like nighttime now. Uh, if you guys see those bats again, it's gonna be a little bit harder to spot them, but or whatever they <laughs> Jokes were. You. I have devil's eye. <laughs> I know. I don't know if you want have... to camp so That's close so to uh, where these things come from. 
Either way, we just need to long rest. Indeed, you guys gotta find a safe place to long rest. Safe place in the ice fields? Are you joking? Mm -hmm. We can look at the rock thing and that when we get back. Don't worry. We'll, we'll just use Tiny Hut. Oh, wait. Not all of us are warlocks tied. Warlocks don't get that spell. One, uh, I don't think bards get that spell either, do they? No, yeah, they, they do. Uh, they did. Bard, sorcerer, wizard. Ah, yeah, I didn't take it. A good spell. Wait, juice? No, that's wizards only. Never mind. Oh, bards don't. No, I'm looking at tiny servant. It's just bard wizard for tiny hut. Yeah. I do have sanctuary Jeez. if that helps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bugging, really, dude. Out. Guys, Don't I have shit on the rat. He's... Don't shit on the rat. He's new to the group. Uh, it's not quite. Leave him alone. Does. Sanctuary is. Oh, you're trying to attack me? Well, I cast a spell on me during the fight, and now you must like a wisdom throw or do something else. Okay. By oh. the way, we're moving away from the cave. I, I thought that was a we'll given. We'll make a note of that later. Alright. Hey, Tide, hang up. I gotta, I gotta ask you something. I mean, I'm holding still over here. Alright. Uh, foundry. Oh, oh space parts. Okay. Uh, I'll move you. Uh, so I found like four of these. You think you can? You think you can tell me what these are? Uh, she pulls out one of the deep speech books from her bag of folding, All right? And shows it tied with mage hand. I'll do the thing. All right. Who's rolling D fours? Me. Uh, you read through it, and this seems to be a shard mind uh, caravan ledger. Uh, one from the city of Ire. Caravan ledger withholds certain uh, uh, shipment of specific metals, spices, and gems. Uh... Uh, to be sent to the city of metal. Seemed to have never made it to the city it was destined for. Just a ledger of more shipment, uh, things like that, purchases. It's all written in deep speech. But based on the names and, uh, all that kind of stuff and the fact that, like, people at the camp told you about shard mines. You suspected shard mines, that's why I said that. Huh? Does the jewelry and gems that I got match up to within the ledger? Mm-hmm. Uh, some of them unaccounted for seems to be personal gems and stuff. The ones that are not accounted for. Fair enough. So what's it? It's a lot of Merchant babble. What they bought, where they were taking it to, what they sold. Hmm. You guys think Priscilla would inter be interested in this? That would, it would be more likely that if there happened to be a... Does it actually say they came from a place? You said from the city of Ire, but was like... The caravan from there, or was that just their last stop? Uh, that was where the shipment was coming from. Uh, they were going to the City of Metal. In that case, it may be worth our time at one point to inform whoever these people are in the City of Ire that this caravan did not make it to their destination, as well as in the City of Metal. Alright. 
uh, she puts it back in the bag of holding, and Mage hands a second one. Well, not exactly. She's just gonna open it up and show him the books in the bag. Do these look just, like similar, or are they different? Uh, different. All the books are different. Oh. Mm-hmm. Well, she'll Mage hand a second book. Okay. Different one. I do the thing. Okay. Uh, uh, T, uh, Tide, as you get this book. <laughs> this book seems <laughs> to be. <laughs> to I'm sorry. You very strange. You don't particularly understand it at first. Uh, it, it talks about, uh, these very descript uh, analogies of people and uh, their concept of love, you think? Or is it lust? You're not sure. You may have found a romance novel. (laughs) I don't get that one! Keep in mind, I can read all writing perfectly. It's just like the concept of it. Yeah, the concept of it to your character is confusing. It's just extravagant words describing people and like how they're feeling and stuff. (laughs) It's... It's... It's weird. (laughs) I think I only have the compass of this one. Calliope's character may actually enjoy that with Alteria. Yeah, but neither of them can read deep speech, so. <laughs> you read it to them before bedtime. And I may be a translator, but I'm not going to translate that. I, I see you, Nick. Are you trying to push, trying to push the shit back to you? No. Trying to what? I'm already the pimp daddy, remember? I'm the one who bought you all the stuff surrounded by women in Durga. <laughs> I can't add my names, women and Durga. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh, couldn't make <laughs> Well, what is uh, it? Uh, it's a uh, descriptive book of sorts. Seems something fictional. Doesn't seem too important. Hmm. I'll put that for later then uh she puts it back and may chance another book flip that d2 nikki and it's two no. <laughs> the two. Oh, <coughs> me what's behind door number All two right. your weekend your weekend All vacation righty. to the good, good place of her lyrics Calliope hands you a book, and right as soon as you read it, anger befalls your character for some, for a fragment of a moment. As you read, uh, uh, Obsidian Assembly Ledger. Oh god, what? What does it say? Oh god, you messed up. All right. Uh, This one seems to be a shipment of a specific product. Uh, The name in it, uh, in deep speech, is kind of strange. It uses an amalgamation of a couple words. Probably was poorly translated to this, as they were not super well known to be using this type of language. But it reads as this shipment one experiment. Um, experiment four. Uh, it says dust. Chronergy crystallization. And then uh, further down, 
uh, parts, replacements, uh, adamantine, titanium, and then however much, like, I, I, 10 stocks about of each of those things. But it wasn't like, it's kind of like spaced out, like they're not one word. It's kind of strange. Try and tear it in half. You're gonna try and tear it in half? <laughs> you, uh, I'll destroy the ledger. Part. It is paper. I particularly like that one. <laughs> Did you just... Yeah, head... <laughs> yeah, hand it over. You hand over the last one? Uh, before I do that, I want to grab it and, like, use my last breath weapon on it for good measure. Oh. Alright, Clypey. Yeah. You hold it in your yeah. hands and you... Breathe in, That's a, and you use your breath, a, and the fucking books go fucking flying. <laughs> not, not the books, not the books, the the book that tied to her. Yeah, That's yeah, what yeah. I was trying to do. He tore it in two, so it's two halves of a book. I'm saying it goes, uh, like, the two pieces go fucking flying off in the distance. <laughs> They're gone. You sent them... <laughs> if, it, if it pisses you off and it pisses me off it's gone <laughs> Watch this one pulls out the last book uh this one seems to be faded and uh harder to read uh, a lot of the words seem to not fully make out as you flip through the pages and stuff. The title of it, even as well, kind of broken off. It says void and then book. And the rest of it is faded or scratched off. It's torn, you say? Scratched off as I'm like, yeah, it's been removed. faded or removed. I can read anything, but the text in this isn't really legible. Uh, all right, some I'm tired. I'm gonna be real with you. Uh, I'm, I'm tired, so I got, I got a stupid idea. Sorry. You go ahead. Uh, the book, as you do read through it, you get, like, bits and pieces. Some of it seems to be, like, ritualistic, uh, things, description, but, like, so indecipherable that you don't think you could fully complete some of them. Maybe one or two, you would have to sit down and l scour through it to find something. But it seems to be a very old book with some inclinations towards magic. But the word void on it seems to be its key focus. Something about Void. I can't really parse any more than that. Alright, I, I think I might have a stupid idea. Can I cast Mending on the book to see if I can repair part? To see if I can fix the scratches? Not quite how Mending works. Do you attempt this? 
I mean, it's a can trip, and I don't know if it's going to be a good thing or not. Only one way to find out. Alright, before I do this, I'm just gonna... Before she casts Rending, she's going to place it down and, like, just show everyone to step back a bit. Alright. <laughs> you cast Mending on one of the pages and you watch as the... Uh, you're casting it, right? Yeah. Alright. You watch as you cast Mending, and you watch as the ink disappears off of one of the pages. Oh god. Oh fuck. Ah oh, shit. He's gonna step back immediately. <laughs> Is it gonna explode? Is it a curse? Does anyone have removed curse? Nothing else seems to happen. Um, if I long rest, I can curse. But I have to change up what spells I've already It doesn't seem like it's I'm too prepared. much of an issue, Calliope. Just in case, it's... check me for stuff. I think the book just may be in disarray. Look, last time we fucked with a book we don't know about, the bird died. Last time we fucked with a book, hentai eldritch beings from another dimension just erupted from a dragon place. I'm not I'm not dealing with I'm not dealing with that again. Even now, Hello? the book seems to be unchanged. All that's missing is the words that were once on that page. Okay. So, she's gonna pull out the rom-com book alongside with the void book as well. Uh, before I send, uh, I think I can send these two to Priscilla, but before ha I'm going to try and see if I can contact her about them. Can I pray to her or something? She's not very good at the whole religion thing, but she'll try. Make me a religion check to see if you could pseudo figure out a way of a prayer towards uh, Priscilla. <laughs> Mine just um. All right. Dumb. Uh, a lot of strife and resilience. You attempt to pray, kind of copying a little bit from Alteria and her prayers to Celeste. In a way. Um, one moment. One, two, three, four. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, oh. no. Oh no. Oh yeah. Oh no. What do I do? One sec. I'm gonna laugh having Saturday Saturday session flashbacks. Yo, 
goes off. Shit gets real. Calliope. Oh no. As you pray, not realizing fully whom you're praying to, the rest of you notice the blood from these. Oh. No blood around you guys. Well. You know, start tendrils start seeping out from the shadows of Calliope. And a sinister laugh echoes through your mind. <laughs> oh my. A dragonkin? Mm. I recognize this. You're... Mm. You've destroyed some of my children. My mind. It's gonna reach nope. out and cast this in Calliope. Just so you know, you don't know this is happening in her head, <laughs> but you do see. Oh, the you said everyone. Out. I thought you said. I thought you said <clears throat> everyone's head. No, no, that's no. my bad. All good. Uh, and as you. In that case, I would not cast it, because I wouldn't know. You've killed my children. And you call me now. So, what can the Hive Queen, the Pillar of Death, do for you, mortal? Can I make a prescription check? Can you remind? No. Okay. I have to check to see if I've noticed some things up. I mean, the tentacles are pretty uh, obvious, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. But you're also like a... Uh, you know, a hundred feet that. away. Make me, Tide, Azarian, and Durga, as you guys are the closest ones. Make me intelligence <laughs> checks. Uh, Clyde you go catatonic as this person speaks in your mind. Uh, just straight intelligence. Uh oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not very really good with the whole prayer thing, and uh, intelligence is not my field of expertise. In my defense, they tried to kill me first. It was mainly self-defense. Oh, but you could have joined my children and been part of me. Apologies, but I have something that I needed to do first. I got that I have people to mourn and people to people to take vengeance on. That's uh these tentacles look very similar to the creatures you guys fought in the labyrinth. The Ikor, very similar. Something's wrong. I am so sorry for interrupting your time. I was trying to contact... I was trying to contact someone else. Uh, I am very sorry for interrupting whatever you were doing before. Oh, but you're here now. Not stay. Perhaps. I'm gonna try and clear the tentacle to my her. All right. I so wouldn't Starlight. mean to impose. Oh, I may have to speed this up, but someone seems to try to be interfering. <gasps> nope, nope, nope. Uh, you don't have to do that. I'm just. Uh, I'll leave you to whatever. Oh fuck! What's mm -hmm. going on? What are all these things? Liar. Liar. You're, you're kind of talking. Things from the bar. He can't. Oh, talk. no. Catatonic one would be like. All right. If that uh, doesn't fail, then I will use magic guidance. You start to run away in your mind. She smiles and starts laughing. Run I'm gonna... all you want. The gesture to Azarian. Right. Don't just stand there. Come help me. 
What do you two do? I'm gonna gesture well, to Azarian and say, come help me. And then I'm gonna turn around to Calliope. Alright. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna do one of these. One of these. Uh, let's, let's do that. Let's do that DC 13. Uh, let's do that DC 13 chat. What? Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! All right. Well, the scroll goes off. It's a third level spell. Yep. Well, Flyapi, you return back, part of you almost running in your real body, looking around, still feeling yourself, the Ikor at your feet, now dormant, no longer tendrils. You're free for the moment. Uh... Fuck it, I'm I'm leaving the cleric ship to Altaria. <laughs> Tide's just uh, turning fly if you're like, what's going on? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Walk up and be like, wait, what's going on here? I fucking hate that bird, I'm glad she's dead. <laughs> wait, Rude, she isn't even here right now. What happened? All these tentacles started spreading up around you. The, the Eldritch Hentai Monster from another dimension. The, the leader! She fucking intercepted me! What? <sighs> Pardon my asking, but what is this anti you talk about? <laughs> anyway, I'm uh, really familiar with this term. Nikki, hey, when I. Uh, 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 <laughs> go ahead. Uh, what's wrong with you guys? Thank you. I mean, they're the one who brought it up. It's not a term that I know of. Tide just a robot who's been at sea for the last forever. Second time, second those, time this has happened. Those the eldritch things that we fought in that damn cave. The the leader, their leader. That she was there. Fuck. Oh, ah. Mickey. Mm -hmm. What was her name? The uh, question: Would I know? Would I know who uh, Calliope is talking about? Um, she never mentioned a name. She just called herself the Hive Queen and the Pillar of Death. Make a religion check to see if I would know. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you, Mickey. No problem. Uh, do, do, do. religion, normal. That's a 15. I watch it teeter off of a 1, then a 7, and then give you that. That's hilarious. Alright, with the 15, you... The 15, you could remember there being only two pillars of death. Uh, a man named Cerventus and a woman by the name of Viara. Not as much is known about Viara, but the only thing that was known is when she did become a pillar. Uh, she acted more like a pillar of war than a pillar of death. Calliope. Uh, Never do that again. Yeah, no, I'm I'm leaving that shit to you. That shit's scary. Someone else call Priscilla, please. She is actively shaken up from that. <sighs> okay. I'll do it. <laughs> Preferably without any of this shit around. She is going to try and crawl away from the Black Eye Corps. Alright. 
can crawl away from the strange black substance. I'm gonna try and contact, uh, yeah, Celeste to see if she's still with Priscilla. So I will tell you guys this right now. It is, uh, dusk, almost as uh, basically becoming nighttime. Uh, you can make. Uh... Oh, sorry, what would you like to do? I'd like to contact Priscilla. Okay. That. Wait, what? As you attempt to pray to Priscilla, nothing happens. Mm. Perhaps your connection is. At a standstill. Okay. Then, if I type contact just before here, I'm gonna try. Leaving contact, though, you feel like another presence is trying to seep in. Is it a good feeling or a bad feeling? Bad feeling. Oh. All right. Immediately feeling bad. Uh. Altaria is gonna stop and then go back to the group. Uh, everyone, no one try and contact anyone. Well, my connection is a lot less godly than yours. Mine is actually direct. It's like having a sending stone. It's oh, just congratulations. I risk you don't. Yes, yes, you like the big dick. Your warlock energy. We get it. <laughs> you get the because feeling that if Ty didn't get you, he would. Because whoever this Hive Queen is, she's trying to get to everyone. Hive Queen. Oh. Hive Queen. Clench his fist. <laughs> Basically, yes. <laughs> we gotta get out of here. Could I be, could I be come here? He crawls over to Alteria. Alright, All right. Alteria's gonna sit down, put Calliope's head in her lap, and so, pat it gently. What do you do? Are you guys gonna we set up a camp here? Or are you guys gonna... Probably a little, a little further little away. Further away, and then make it. Probably a little bit further away. A little further right. away. I will take watches uh, one through four. <laughs> <laughs> I suggest someone take a watch with me for each one of those. By the way, <laughs> I'm doing with Tide for at least two of them. Yes, He's not going to be slipping. You have to. You can only do one if we're doing a long rest. That means uh, everyone here has to do a watch. Because <laughs> for a long rest, you're expected to be sleeping for at least six of the hours. All right. So I'll uh, take first now watch. Here's, then. Now here's the question, my friend. Unless uh, unless you're an elf, elf uh, gets trance, which is four hours. Oh, what's your century's so rest? True. Is it a full uh, six hours as well? Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's just I don't fall unconscious when I rest. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's just normal sleeping and stuff. Got it. Kind of, but you're awake. Kind. Of. And I can end like I can like choose to get up if I want to. This is just <laughs> what I have to do. Fair enough, so you can make perception checks while in this mode. <laughs> yeah, remember we did this back in the uh, dungeon? Yeah. Right. Don't take long rest till after we do the watches, because if we get interrupted in the middle of the long rest, then you don't have the stuff. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh. Well, I'm just going to roll four of them right now, Nikki, and then you can handle whoever's in order. Yep. Are you guys setting... Okay, I need to know. Are you guys setting up a campfire? 
Are you gay? I'm guessing you guys are going to set up your own, like, little sleeping bags and everything, but are you guys going to give yourselves a light at all? I need not worry about the cold. Light. This area is and pretty can... tropical. It won't get extremely cold at night, so you should be fine. But I'm just wondering if you guys want a campfire or not. I need to know. And I'm pretty sure four out of the five of us have a way to see in the dark. Yeah. Besides you. I, think the only... I know that both the tieflings have dark vision. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure Calliope has dark vision. Although I don't know if Durga does. Durga has dark vision. I'm not mistaken. Durga has dark vision. Boundaries resting up for me. Fuck. Yeah. Calliope has dark vision. Alteria. Oh, they should, don't. Yeah. Alteria should have dark vision because she's a tiefling. I do have dark vision. Yeah. Okay, you, just don't have a, you just don't have it marked on your seat. Wait, what? Your dark vision isn't marked on your sheet. <laughs> it should be under your senses. Alright. One of you is a light. I'm Telteria. Alright. <sighs> 13, 4, 14, 5. Okay. First watch. Who's taking it? I'll do it. She's still shaking up from that encounter. Alright, who's taking first watch? Besides Tide. Me. Alright. Make me perception check, Calliope. I can't do anything. Caribbean Futures is reloading. It crashed on me a bit. Oh, no problem. I want it load. Your sheet, or is it just they said they're foundress? Oh, it won't load at all for me. I think I have to restart. Oh, all right. Yeah, I'll try an RP without it, but can someone make me the perception check for me? Mm hmm. be a lot distracted during this rest. A little bit distracting tight as he rests. Uh, as he's not like talking back to you, but more like just someone to listen as you chat about during the night. <laughs> I can't talk back, so if you're talking to Tide, he's uh, listening. Exactly, <laughs> so I said it that way. <laughs> to listen. Alright, who is taking second watch? Uh, I'm going to add RP a bit there, Calliope. And talk to... Well, he can't talk back, but he's there. <laughs> it's a one-sided conversation, but you know he's listening. <laughs> That's if you want to. 
that, but I will not there's to say now. Alright. Um, I think they're just gonna sleep. Gonna sleep with Calliope's head on her lap. Like my DP. Alright, so, second watch. Who's next? I could go second. Alright. Shit, I was muted. Cool. The whole thing okay. didn't go through because I was muted. Shit. <laughs> it happens. Uh, Don't worry about it. Or you would have. Oh yeah, make me a perception check. Uh... Yeah. Assuming with advantage, even mm -hmm. though it's dark, because it's dark vision. Um, twenty-seven. Typical roll, you know. I'm just close to in chat. Casual Durga stuff. Off, further away, back where you guys came from. You see more of those bat things flying about. Bat, imp, whatever they are. They're terrifying. You see them flying around, going to the different carts, smashing into them, uh, looking through them, <clears throat> looking at their, or picking up the dead other imps that have been around and start dragging them into the uh, skull. That's what you see from here. They seem to not go too much far away from the Any skull, chance. but. Seem like they're gonna go anywhere near this. No. With this also being. They don't go that far. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll show you. They go about from to like, yeah. They just go around this area and then go back. Well, as long as they don't get any closer, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do anything. Okay. Would you chat with? Tied as he stands there, motionless. I feel like Durga would just awkwardly stand near Tied. I imagine that Tide doesn't just stand there. He like basically does the equivalent like a slouch squat. That's so just Durga would be standing beside. Actually, I feel like your slouch squat would be about my height. So <laughs> I feel like it's just at that point I'm just eye to eye with you. Yeah, Durga really I thought that's much. all. Mm -hmm. I just know I'm small. Oh, I never mind. Tide is that tall. I am a small boy. Tide's six foot six. Ah, yeah, no, he's definitely taller than me. I didn't actually set up details. <laughs> yeah, you can do that whenever you get a chance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whenever I can figure it out. Probably under what five. I need them. Under five feet. So. Definitely under five feet. Yeah, no, that's all I'd probably do is just kind of stand there and keep watch. Mm. And see Tide slob squatting. Yeah, you see him slob squatting, looking in a specific direction. Um, Specifically towards the uh, skull. Yeah. Uh, but this watch goes array. Nothing seems to. Other than the little. Ah, yeah, you can attune to the Head of Disguise. Also, no, Tide would deny you casting good and evil anyways, because if he's like, no immediate threat, then I must save for it, just in case the imps. Yeah. Alright, next watch. Azarian or Alteria? I'll, I'll, I'll do it, I, I don't mind. Hmm? I don't, I don't mind doing it either, so I guess it's up to you. Yeah. Alright, cool. I'm going to Alright, Azarian. And then Alteria. Cool. Alright, perception check. I'm messing around with my spells. I guess I'll use this time to uh, prepare specific spells for the day as well. What was the D0 for? 
<laughs> wanted to see what I was gonna roll. All right. He was gonna roll nothing. Yeah. Uh, Azari in perception. Yep. Good roll. It was a God great damn, goal, we have actually. some wise boys in this team. Damn. No, you sis, are you? <laughs> no, because I still have a negative two. <laughs> 73, alright. Uh, this is interesting. Start seeing fauna uh, roaming about randomly. Uh, normal beasts of these lands, a mixture of reptiles and tropical creatures you normally find in an uh, arid area like this. Uh, but you also see metallic-like creatures as well. Off in the distance, you see what looks to be uh, a panther, leopard, or a tiger that is just completely furs made out of metal and everything. Seems not everything has completely been eradicated by the... Or, not all of the metallic curse, as they called it, has left this area. But, your watch goes without any issues. I can attack, at least that's good. I think that's my turn. Alteria's turn. Alteria. Yeah, Interception. Right. Also, when Alteria gets to the, her watch, Tide Power is back on. Uh, good morning, Alteria. Morning. Uh, as Tide is uh, testing his joints and everything as he's waking up, Alteria is just eagle eyes. Sixteen forty one. Wait, what? Off in the distance, you see uh, a giant emerge from the skull and start heading in the direction you guys came from. So they head south. You see strange, wispy-like blood trailing behind them. That's about it. Alteria, I'm curious. What is your purpose? Mm -hmm. You're saying? What is your purpose? My? Sorry. Yes. Yeah, thank you. That's why I'm asking a lot of my... What is your purpose? Everything seems a little... Sad. What is your main directive? Sorry. <laughs> it feels that... You pass butter. Mortal... Races seem to have no... Purpose other than to live, if you will. Whereas we, Warforged, are given a purpose from the moment we are created. Mm -hmm. Wow. I never really thought about having a purpose in life. You're... I mean, you know. Yeah, I'm hey, hey, I'm it's, Sama, it's, you're very muffled. Oh, oh sorry. And M Sama. All right. All right. All right. All right. They said they never thought about their purpose. Oh. I actually, I never actually thought about my purpose in my. Still muffled, but now you sound quiet, and so I can't understand you anymore. 
Oh, okay. Give me uh, one good moment. Do, drink do, break. Do. Everyone go grab drinks real quick. And we'll use the restroom. Is oh, the bathroom better break or not? Just a quick bathroom break. Bathroom break. Alright. Everyone do that. Everyone do bathroom break. break. <laughs> I'll fix. I'll try and fix my mic. Okay, is this better? Oh. Hmm. Is this better? A little bit, yeah. Good to me. Oh, dang it. It's not yep. better. Oh, dang it, I said a little bit. You no longer it. sound muffled. You're just a little quiet. Is, isn't it better? Oh. No. This sounds better than me. As I said, just no, not muffled, just a little quiet now, but that's fine. All right. Wait, wait, wait. Guys. What about now? Oh, you're on your alt now. Yes, because I thought the alt account would work. I don't know why it does that. Well, and the settings. Okay. The last watch goes well. Oh yeah, could I answer the question though? Yeah, now that we can understand here. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, I don't really, I don't really know. I don't have a purpose. I used to think. That life was about having a purpose, but then, you know, got lost in the Feywild, and... I don't know, after that, I never actually found a reason to have a purpose. Just go with the what happens, I guess. How... depressing. Why would it be depressing? To live without a purpose would be to live a life with no meaning. What if the meaning to your life is finding that meaning, you know? Make your own meaning. Then would that not be your purpose? To find a purpose? I mean, I guess. I guess you're right. But okay. That's the fun thing about life. Just gotta make your own meaning. Confusing.
Hmm. Anyways, what was that book you would not tell Calliope about? The fictional one or the one that tore in half? The fictional one. It was just a just make sure that fiction up. novel of sorts, I believe. Right, I'm back. Welcome back. Cute. Back I like this RP. I'm not sure exactly what I meant, but it described things that I know to be levicious in nature. Is that the word I want to use? Hey, uh, interesting. Yes, that Wait, was the word I wanted this, to use. Is this why you asked me what's my purpose? No. It just seems that the more I view mortals, the more it seems they're going along their life on an undetermined path. Everyone, everyone has their own path. Some not as good as others, some have it well than others. I, that's just how it is. I do not understand. Maybe one day you will. Maybe one day. What is your purpose, Tide? <laughs> I am to guide the souls of those who have been fractured together, so that they may again be whole. Hmm. You have something you want to do besides that? Like Hyde will reach like up maybe? to where his talisman used to hang around his neck. While looking at Alteria. Oh. Hands it over. The keep it for now. It's difficult to say. Before Dracolago found me, I was a machine for naval activities, not quite war. More diplomatic. They need someone to be able to translate what other people, other races are saying. My purpose before was to act as a translator, and now it is to guide souls. I'm not sure what I want. Well, if maybe maybe this will be an enlightening experience for you. Try and find out what you want in life. Not what others tell you to find in life. Make your own purpose. Seems contradictive. It always is. Confusing. I was supposed to be some sort of prodigy. Now look at me now, being an adventurer. And, uh... I've met plenty of adventurers, I... but many do not live as long as we have. Yeah, it happens, you know. I think some that lives, some may don't. still be a prodigy, just not a whatever it was in your past. Hmm. Agreed. I mean, some days I look. I some days wonder if the past me, the child me, is me. If that makes any sense. Like, would it not be you? That is who you were in the past, and as such, it would formulate who you were in the present. As without yes. the past, the present, the present to be here, the future would never exist. Are you sure you don't have a purpose? Well, your own purpose? I am to guide lost souls. And that's it? Don't you have, like, some big adventure dream or something? Maybe you want to, I don't know, understand emotions or, like... ...but good for you. Unsure. 
Well, what if I... Hmm. Well, then I... Then I'll give you this. By the end of this trip, try see if you actually do have a purpose. That something you want to do, something you want to achieve. Besides the thing you were created for. Our... Technical issues, technical issues. Successful. Let's go, technical issues fixed. Hello? Oh, we're back. Hi. Technical difficulties. It, hap it happens. Oh, it does, yes. I think that's pretty much the end of that conversation. Yes, it is. I'll tell you, it's gonna go back to looking after Kalaibi. Nikki, may I have access to Durga's sheet? I have access to everyone else's, but I cannot see his. Oh. I want to see all the fat juicy details. Physically sweats. <laughs> oh, I feel fine. Sweat. Let's go. Thank you. How dare you look at these things? As you, uh awaken the rest of you do you guys look towards the skull again and you guys see him start spewing out almost like a whirlwind like a storm and then you see them just go west you guys uh, are east they go the opposite okay, direction that's... of you guys i was going to ask if this uh map was northwest east south Correct. Okay. This this map is accurate um, to what you guys are actually doing, or actual I, <laughs> directions. Good, good. I assume that Calliope's attuned to the hat now. Yes. Because you would have had time hour. to do that. Indubitably. In case. Uh, and when we start the day, I do the funny thing. Everyone around me, that's five of us. Including myself. Sorry, I have to make sure the dog doesn't fucking eat things. He gets 14 temp between. 14 temp HP? Hey! Alright, go ahead and eat my hand. That's I guess. not a small amount. I mean, look at Durga's temp HP when it arrives. It's gonna fill up so much of a snow <laughs> bar! Leave me alone, I'm a squishy boy. <laughs> I love the Dirty difference in the goes... bar between all of you. I know! It's nothing to her. There's a reason why I try the to avoid getting myself like, into shit. Calliope is the least affected. It's a buffer. That's all it really is. Yep. It's like a shrugging thing, because your enemy hits you, you kind of shrug it off. My leader says I should be brave, so I'm being brave right now. I eat bugs and stuff. Alright, I think this solves half of our first problem. Hmm? I believe we should move out now. Alright. I, for one, is Jesus. not interested in the skull, if I'm being entirely honest. Yeah, me, me neither. We got what we wanted. Kind of. Oh. Uh, oh yeah, me. actually- I don't have a mouse anymore. Uh, you guys decide to check your map for a moment, see where you guys are going. Also, one thing, in the 30 pounds of gems and jewelry variety, do I find any diamonds? Yes. How many and how long? Oh, we can... Um... Let's... Uh, five diamonds, varying sizes. Let's see how lucky you are. Well, 
Come back to me. <laughs> Six. It's higher or lower than <laughs> You find, uh... One of the diamonds is small enough to fit on a ring. One of the diamonds is very big. Find a diamond that is a spell component for the spell, if I remember correctly. Revivify? I... No. Revivify. No, for a fact, at least. 100 gold diamond. Uh, I the no, other for a fact that diamonds are used for, like. Has. Six. Okay, Two, I'm mostly just asking about to see if any of them are viable for the resurrection spell. Wow, another low number. And another high number, let's go. Do that. I'll, uh... You guys have a total of two $300, or 300 gold diamonds, and two ring-sized diamonds. <laughs> I will give those to Altaria. <laughs> Alright. Um, I'll give the one that I have. Whoever has the other Come. one, give it to her. Come on. Good girl. Sorry, I have to call the dog, so she's not one. It's all good. Alright. So yes, you have two diamonds worth enough for a Revivify spell for two people. You can add that to your sheet. I'm going to send at least one of them. I don't know if the other person can give you one hand. You, but I'm not even in the, the thing. I had to restart my computer. <laughs> oh. I'll take the two, though. Thank you. That was close. I'm assuming we're making survivor survival checks as we head out. Uh, I'm going to tell you this now. Uh, small, little, little thing. Aw, oh, fuck it. Restart of the session. So, so, um, as you guys are checking, yeah, might as well make survival checks. Yeah, you guys decide to head off into the sunset. Incredible rolls by me, as always. All right. Yo! And as you guys are moving forward, Durga, you're like, you look at the map, and you realize that on the map you're looking at, you guys are passing the landmarks and things that are after the place you guys are going towards, and then you realize, oh, is the thing we're looking for that where that skull is? You guys decide to head back. Uh, Durga? <laughs> no offense, Durga, but did you see what came out of it? Mm -hmm. Giant came out of it. A what came out of it? A giant. You get the feeling that if Tide could blink, he would. Wait, what? I only saw imps come out of it, Alteria. Oh, Are your glasses oh, working God. properly? Yes. Speaking of which, about your glasses, do are they like sunglasses? Are they just glasses? Are they aesthetic functional? Are those actually just dark spots underneath your eyes? <laughs> <Only fun. laughs> Questions, Alteria, questions. Sorry. Um Answers, okay, I don't know. <laughs> so, what do you guys do as you guys are heading back towards the skull? I suggest that Calliope and Azarian approach. Oh, did you guys long rest yourselves? I did, yes. Yes. Uh, I didn't, but I didn't really have any damage with it. Well, what about spell store? slots and such, and features? I didn't take any, but I'll just hit the long rest one right now. It's gonna get rid of your temp HP. 
Now you gotta give yourself oh, well, 14 it's back. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> well, I got. I got. Could well, attempt to sneak around and see if I can't look at the place while the two frontline are not too far behind. Alright. If that seems reasonable. Seems pretty reasonable. Uh, sure. I'm sure this fucking stealth check will certainly be low this time. I can feel it. Alright. Delph. I'm gonna move you guys closer to the skull so you guys are in like... Okay, Nikki. Okay, Dad. I called it. <laughs> oh my... <laughs> I believe myself to be hidden. Probably. Alright. Probably. He pro Tiden probably can't see you. <laughs> oh. Durga has escaped. You know, you guys allow me 24 hours. Hmm? No. I mean, okay. No. Come here. I activate the hat of disguise. You activate the hat of disguise? Alright, who are you disguising yourself as? Or what? Because you're a dragonkin race, you can technically uh, disguise yourself as something of akin to yourself. So you can disguise yourself as uh, an aquatal. Met a couple. You could disguise yourself as. Um, Another type of dragonborn, you can disguise yourself. Uh... Yeah. Or you can well, the main purpose of this like is to uh, Like, you can do a tiefling if you wanted to, because you do have, like, horns and stuff. Uh, the only thing is your tail would have to just be basically. Right, like, disguise uh, your tail. Okay. One second. Uh, since her whole idea was to not look like a dragonborn for disguise purposes, she looks a bit different and off than what you usually see. <laughs> um, her form before, I don't have art for this, but... She kind of looks like a cross between a succubus librarian and a gothic lolita noble. Hmm. Yeah, yeah she, she also has like amethyst tinted glasses and stuff. I know donkeys. Okay. Hmm. Okay. With your self check, yeah, well, we tell uh, them about green. Uh. You can sort of get see into the uh, cave itself a little bit. It seems it's an incline, one that goes straight down almost. Wherever this right. place leads you, it leads you deep below. What other place for should a strange blood creatures hide than in the depths where no one can find them? Oh man, this is just like Vorkax all over again. Alright, let's go. <clears throat> Can someone loop me, please? Alright. So, how much closer do you get, Durga, with your stealth check? Stay about around here. I don't want to get like, super close just yet. Do you see this? Oh, no, 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 no. The disciplining dog. Hmm. 
sorry. I really like. Doggers. Huh. No worries. Dogs are a lot of work, much like children. Yeah. Have you heard that snorting? That wasn't me. That was the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Is move a bit closer using a bit of the branches and fallen trees as cover as you get a little bit closer looking inside it there doesn't seem to be anything hanging around at the moment perhaps you caught at an opportune moment perhaps it's feeding time perhaps they could be coming back in any second when we go deep enough in Dang. Are we moving? Um, I was hoping you guys would be following behind me at least a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can. Well, I'm not going ahead of the tanky boys or gals. Yeah, I guess I, I, I'm, I'm a little tanky. I don't know how. Uh... You got more AC than I do, <laughs> and Calliope has more HP than I. I have escape yeah. lines. That's all I have. <laughs> so I should probably roll stealth then. I'm gonna fall. Funny. Uh, I believe Azarian would have to roll stealth at disadvantage. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, you got the funny I, armor I, I actually. So. Does the funny armor? The, yeah, yeah. So say, does, does bloody armor have disadvantage yeah. on stealth? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll then yes. Take you out in a sec. Oh, she's talking. To oh her. no, he's, <laughs> she's talking to her cat. Dog is <laughs> literally whining at me and talking to me. All right. Mm. Yeah. We'll take you As out. You guys all day. move closer. And, Wait, Nikki, uh, does the blood the armor reach... I have give me disadvantage? Okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, the blood armor does, does the not blood give armor me disadvantage, disadvantage as it is strapped to your yourself. skin and is not uh, clunky metal. Alright. So clink. It doesn't roll, help roll, you with your yeah, okay. zero dex, but... No, but at least it doesn't make it worse. <laughs> Yes. Now would you get Altaria's negative uh, stealth roll? Alright. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Oh shit. Altaria, roll that disadvantage. Have you guys ever Why played is she rolling disadvantage uh, Have you guys ever played Baldur's Gate? Like, uh, I've been meaning to pick two. up the new one, but I haven't gotten around to team gameplay, but I haven't played it. Okay. I used to play it a lot. One of my favorite games still is. I actually play number two still. Um, I really love the overworld exploration it has. It's really good. Uh, no. But that is actually what that saying is from. You must gather your party before venturing forth. It stops you from moving forward in the game until your all your party members reach the door. <laughs> so good. That I'll need Altaria. So apparently my touchpad died on me. Uh, I think it's the too tanky. I think this is the way you guys are kind of getting yourselves in here for. And I'll load up the new map. New map, new map, new map. As you enter the depths below. During this time forward, you, uh, all your actions and everything, uh, well, things will be moving as well, so just remember that actions take time. Thank you, what are these? As you reach down here, you see a strange aroma, almost like the smell of metal wafts into your guys' noses. On a copper iron smell? Make so. me, yeah. Uh, make me perception checks on the strange things that are right next to you. Me? Still loading. Yeah. Let me know Six. Loading. Well. It's slow. Okay. 
can kind of watch the What is with all these sevens? A lot of sevens. This isn't the slots. It's, uh, it's a perfect number, don't you know? This isn't the slots, man. This isn't the slots. Oh, goofball. Sitting at that 98%. That's no goofball. All right, six, eleven, thirteen. From a soft distance, this looks like melted bone, or somewhat. It's bone-like, almost made into these strange web-like structures. The smell of blood is more apparent as it gets deep as you reverse yourselves deeper inside. And I think that is where we will call today's session. And we'll continue oh, yeah. next week, my friends. Thank you all for joining us for today's session of Better Be in Treasure. Thank you for joining us, Chad. Yeah. Also, thank you all for the Bye, follows girl. and everything. Um speaking of things where is it i don't think i've ever shown it off the um uh Be what? just saying that durga should probably move behind the bb girls <laughs> and not be right at the front reason one that i'm in the front i can sneak her out reason two that i'm in the front i have escape plans Oh, here so yeah, he is. Reason he's one he should not he's, be in the front. Yeah. 14 <laughs> looks like it's like 20% of your health. I currently have around 62 HP. Is that with or without the. Uh... That is with the buff. Okay. I Reason have at least one chance of surviving. Oh. Reason two, you should not be at the front. You have as much AC as Calliope. What? <laughs> That's a fair point. <laughs> Anyways, check out our all the different characters. Unfortunately, this was made before uh, uh, Durga was joined the party, but still cool nonetheless. We got that was artwork? done by M. Selma. Yay! What oh, are you doing, dog? <laughs> that brings up the question: If you're gonna remove what uh, Law and replace it with Durga? Yeah, I'll we'll actually get the art finished. I'm making new one. Patiently. Still Alright, Alright, I have a couple of things to go do for like the next yeah. 10 20 minutes. Alright. Bye bye. Take care. Hope everyone. stream had a good time. Bye, y'all. Have a good time. Shit. And we will see you all next week. Bye bye.